Hey, welcome back to another episode. Um, so we're gonna go and see Hosea. Okay, we're back at camp. It all seems quiet. What's everybody doing? Uh, I think we'll go and have a shave real quick. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Right, okay, Braithwaite Manor. Sean looks like he's interested in something. Oh, there's the moonshine wagon. That's the moonshine that we confisc confiscated off the Braithwaite's. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. I believe we're gonna go and sell this moonshine back to these people. That's crazy, but we've got Jose with us. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> 
pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. Mm -hmm. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. Oh, my God. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You really? boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. We're gonna stir the Maybe pot? Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Ooh. Wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're certain ourselves in his blood few <laughs> we'll need something i ain't playing just you know my feelings about that of course oh, you're not you you're a clown's <laughs> idiot brother Jose, please. i'm the clown you're the brother turned idiot just look sad and keep quiet even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, do I have to? Put this out oh. on... Uh, that. <sighs> Smoke this pipe. Oh Bring your God. lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Hey, what about you? <laughs> you oh, can't speak. Shit. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor mammy's heart. I feel Bad like an idiot. Benton. There, there, don't get mad. Now. Certainly look like an idiot. For this asshole. I suppose Jose doesn't need a disguise, he's not been here yet. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> killed our mother but it weren't his fault how'd you boys how'd you boys like a couple of bucks i bet you would one for each of you we're in the new trade of advertising which is an american art form about ensuring people buy the correct things i don't know one more dollar says give us half an hour what harm can we do in half an hour <laughs> go along now enjoy the money come on <laughs> Hand out the liquor. Gentlemen, gentlemen, my name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next thirty minutes. The drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. All thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have more fence. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at. 
Just keep them coming. See you tomorrow, Cactus. Oh, a great cup. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Hey, open another bottle. Where's mine, Don't then? Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. Oh, those guys are real packing it away. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Keep drinking! There's plenty more where that came from, and it's all free! Oh, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. Well, glad hit the spot. Keep them coming, Finn. Just keep them coming. <laughs> Gentlemen, quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Joe, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh shit, I'm not equipped for this. Bastards. Driving all day, jump on the train. Oh shit, they're innocent. Okay. How many are there? They really aren't happy about this. Oh, both those both of these dead. Good shot. Ah. What a slippy son of a bitch. Ah. Good. For now. So this over a few bottles of booze. I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. Yeah. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertising. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. 
I'll go visit old Ma Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Is this Mike's sure? idea? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay, we're on our way back to see Hosea. We're here, back at the Braithwaite Manor. I can't believe Hosea's still trying to play this woman. Howdy! Hey there, mister! Can I come in? Hey, partner! Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, happened now. Move along now. Ooh, very posh. Ah, please come in, sir. Wow. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So. Your friend, the other liquor vendor. Sean McGuire is here. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Didn't know Sean McGuire was along for the ride. Can I drive? No. All right, let's get this over with. Some you was quiet in there. Took everything I had. 
That's son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Hmm. Okay. So what's she got us doing at yeah, the Grey's what, what's place? The plan? What's the plan? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. The moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. God, I'm thinking as hell about why toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. There it is. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Easy. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and pack. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Press B to change Arthur's point of view. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. <clears throat> <laughs> Have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Oh shit, uh, it's going on. <sighs> uh, before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> So, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Talking Seems about like us, guys. You deserve that drink. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All ah, right, yeah.
<laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> Exit. Uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest place. <coughs> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Are we gonna do this at night? How are you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. <clears throat> okay. We got Molotovs. We're really gonna we're really gonna do this. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. Oh my god, we're gonna Coat burn everything. everything. And then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move mm -hmm. quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is so funny. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Right, okay, follow Sean. Let's follow Sean. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. Oh, shit. So, what you got there? Tools? Payroll? Okay. Payroll. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Oh. We'll take care of this fella. We're gonna make some money here. Payroll. I bet that's a lot. Bet, it, bet these guys get paid. I don't know. Okay. Come on. Good. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. My God, we're gonna burn everything. The barn, the That's fields. Good. Put a lot of moonshine in these fields now. There's Sean. Right, we're done. We're ready. We give this a quick dousing as well. With what? Oh, what are you doing it? Okay. Oh shit. Think she'll go, Arthur. Light her up. Hey, hey, hey. You like one of them balls you got? Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You ain't leaving here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> Dutch told us not to make trouble around here. Not right now, we got company. Look out! 
Push on, push on. Oh my god, everything's going out. Oh my god. Oh, Sean's in trouble. We've really stirred the pot here, <laughs> and we're right in the middle of it. This was a stupid idea. Oh, better get us paid real well for this. So I'm saying, right? thinking. All right, come on, we'll take those horses. Uh, we're there, see if the hero was actually in there. Hurry up. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Hey, but let's go. How much should we get? Yeah, you get them horses free, Marker. Come on. Done that. Let's go. Oh my God! Look at the fields. Yeah. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Do right. Follow me. Holy shit! They are not gonna let this go, guys. This is gonna be coming back on us. Okay. Realize that we are going straight out the front gate. Holy shit, it's lighting up the skies. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? That great way to hang out our money's worth, Ollie. Jesus. Let's just get out of here first. That was crazy. I can't believe we just did that. Wow. Show me, go. Power holes here have more sense than some than to do something like that. Well, that was funny. Yep. I think we lost them. Wow, we can still see it. Yeah, we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> sure. Wow. Sweet 
going on around camp. Lenny's passed out, Micah. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. Kieran? Alright. Ain't you cold? Hey, you cold? Jeez. Ah, oh, do you know, I bet we could see that fire from here if if there was no trees or something or no hills. Um, doo -doo -doo. Seven hours. Noon. I'm going to go ahead and read this journal. Keep noticing journal entries. Um, one second. Roads. This is us entering roads then. Okay. Um, He's drawing a picture of Sadie. Sadie Adler. I've got to read this proper. Um, one minute, go back. Go back. Oh, there's that. There was that church we found. Me and Lenny. Wow, this journal's so interesting when you get reading it. Okay, let's go and see what Dutch is up to. He looks stressed for some reason. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Me and Charles again. I like doing stuff with Charles. Where is Charles? 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 I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. <laughs> He just does. He just does what he's told him, doesn't he? Come on, girl. Let me just go ahead and brush my horse. Yeah, there's a girl. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. All right, come on, Charles. Don't mind me. Jose. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. 
Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. He doesn't spend any time Fear in camp. not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Are you getting off? Because he lives right here. Yep. <clears throat> this is where trial only is in online as well. I must have been here a dozen times before. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Gone. Who? Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Hmm. Let's take a look around. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. But no body? Not yet. <gasps> they went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. They seem to head into the forest now. Easy. Charles is right. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal? Strange, sure. Formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You go fit a out of here. Come here. Oh, really? <laughs> Okay there, Charles. You stay there. Uh, where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. I don't believe him. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. No. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. I took him to a cabin. 
Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Okay. <clears throat> All right. That should do it. Oh, that's loot. Um. Right, let's get out of here. He said, on, let's go. He said this way, didn't he? Okay. I think okay. there's a way around. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Yeah, it sounds like he's keeping us on the line. <laughs> that must be it. Oh, this! I didn't even see that. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 <laughs> that's a lot of them. I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Well, at least Charles is with me. Hey, this one. They said what? Don't let him get away. Told him. They've gone. Cornfields. We need to flush them. There's one. There he is. Pointless, but yeah. we got one more, Charles. The Ooh. search with Charles. I've been searching. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. But where? Who was here? Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. Oh. Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Oh. oh, nice, Charles. Wow. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. <coughs> no, you're not a fool, Charles. Oh, shit. Thank you. 
Of course. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Oh shit, over the ease. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on! Ah! Ooh. Got a Charles, you got him. I'm gonna collect on all three, you son of a bitch. Oh. History. Yeah. <laughs> Good. You should be the last of them. Can't believe I only got one pistol on me at the moment. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Come on, Seems Charles. like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Hey, wait up. Come on. You're right. <laughs> he looks all fucked up. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. <sighs> Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. Mm. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. <laughs> now he wants to stay with us. Only when he's in trouble. Bounty hunters, Pinkerton's lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. Right, so we're going to head back to camp and see what Michael wants. If they keep returning to to camp with a the deer, then Pearson can't moan at me. Discussing ladies bloomers. <laughs> it's weird. You're on your own, drunk as usual, Uncle. They ran with me. And Abigail doesn't look like she's listening to you. Old, right, right. Pearson. This is going in the pot. Thank you, Arthur. Hosea? What's up with Hosea? Warmer clothes, Mr. Morgan? Oh, he's running away from me. What's okay? Up? What a start to the day. 
How did we end up over this way? Huh? Well, I guess we know the answer to that. Whatever, Arthur. Whoa, he looks angry at me. Well, he looks angry in general. Okay, I'm gonna leave him alone. Hey. Thanks again for saving me in that cornfield. And of course, you do the same. Let's keep our eye on Mr. Trelawney. Alright, let's see what this rat wants. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. I actually agree with my career. Speaking sense forms. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <sighs> Fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Mikey, this better be legit. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes. Doubting Thomas, is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Yeah, we can't uh, fight the whole so, world. gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Can't fight everyone Look, at once. You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice Easy. purse for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? The way you speak. Okay, just keep calm. Cause I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. 
I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. From the look of them, I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Ugh. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. Mm -hmm. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much. <laughs> There's no such thing. This is horse shit. <laughs> Isn't it? For both of you. It oh might my be. god. Micah, whatever. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying <clears> for. <throat> it is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Yeah, I do agree with Mike a lot. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah, I was going to say, I do agree with Mike. There is a lot of mouths to feed at camp, and, you know, we need to make money not just for us but for everybody to keep everyone fed and safe and happy and we're all planning to escape together so we have to make a lot of money to do that for 20 people there's 20 people in our camp Colmo Driscoll. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. <clears throat> you always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. Hmm. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not <laughs> I don't know. Column's got a sense. Yeah. Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. 
fucked a whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? In a town, I think, to speak. He's escaping! Shoot him! Watch! Don't shoot, man. I got him. Oh. Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. What the hell's happening? Back of his horse now. Finally, put his weapons over there. Over where? Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <coughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <coughs> Septic. Ain't nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you, hand you, then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here, and a whole lot of you, and the law will be waiting for him. Arthur, <laughs> Arthur, I missed you. Oh. Oh. I want to kill that guy. You can swing on your shackles to reach the metal file. Come on, Arthur, you can do it. Grab file. Powder, cauterize the wound. Shut your hole. I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What 
What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Genevieve, fast as you can. Mary Beth. Arthur? Forster. Karen. Yeah, I told you it was just set up to us. Oh, my boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're uh, safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh, oh. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. Uh, I got you. You're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. <clears throat> wow, can hear thunder. And holy shit, we've grown a beard. Oh, hair's got longer as well. 